hey guys welcome back to my channel <coughs> um i just ate a ham sandwich and i didn't check my mouth so so if i got ham all over my face uh today i thought yes i am in the same outfit as before because it's a sunday and today is my filming day so i'm really sorry about that but this is all filmed on the same day and yeah don't judge me but anyway um I thought today I'd do a little Christmas decorations thing because I've got nothing to do and this wall here is very empty, very empty, yeah, so my wall's very empty, um, these cute little butterflies behind me, are, I don't know, I don't know where to put them so they're just going to stay there for a little bit, um, I'm trying to make my room more Christmassy but I just, I just don't, like it's hard to decorate a half finished room as it is so yeah i'm just buying more shit and then having to move it because i've got builders in here and stuff like that so that's great um but anyway yeah we're gonna do a christmas wreath with oh with a hanger um i watched a video on youtube i've actually watched quite a few videos on youtube about how to do this because i don't own a glue gun and i'm not gonna go and buy a glue gun because if i go and buy a glue gun I may as well go and buy a bubble reef that's ready made. So I thought, I'm not going to buy a glue, glue gun, I'm going to use this rusty old hanger and try and copy the YouTube video. Um, obviously that's going to be a little bit boring for you to watch. So I've also put some questions on Instagram for me to answer that you guys have asked. So yeah, enjoy the video guys. So guys, I picked these up from B&M, um, what are they, luxury baubles, 40 of them. Um, the first thing that, <coughs> <coughs> lovely, um, I think I'm going to die on camera one of these days. Right, so this is the, the video that I watched. What is going on? Okay, this one. So she does all this funky stuff with the hanger. So I'm just going to copy that real quick. Um, you don't, you don't need to see that. So <coughs> I'm going to get a drink as well, and I'll speed it up so you can see what I'm doing. Right. So it looks like she kind of just goes like this, and then like this. Oh, fuck. I guess the end goal is to make a circle. So I'm just going to keep going with it and then she unhooks the top this is looking good I think I've just wasted a fucking hanger Ugh. okay right I'm going to answer some of your questions while I do this because I think I get the general gist gist of what she's doing um let's go first question what got you into fitness was there a transformation or was it just general natural was it a natural progression um i've always been quite sporty um i used to play i literally used to play every sport i used to fuck i used to do i feel like i'm gonna poke my eye out i used to play rugby um not that many people know that to be honest um I used to play rugby, I used to do netball, um, hockey, swimming, everything basically. And I did all of them to like a county level. So I've always been quite active. Um, and then, what was the next one? Was it a natural progression? What got me into fitness was like, I have always struggled with my weight. If you've watched my weight video, you will know that. Um... And therefore, I literally, I'm one of those girls that literally looks at cake and then puts on weight, which is a bit shit, but that's kind of what happens to me. I, I mean that literally, like, like, not literally. I mean that as like a joke, not literally. Um, but yeah, I literally, I put on weight very easily. And so if I don't exercise, which I didn't do at uni, I just ate what I was already eating. Um... I love food so I ended up putting on weight now and then ever since then I've probably been trying to lose it again and then I had a really messy breakup and lost loads of weight then then 
final complete like binge of eating everything and yeah like my weight's all over the place it's probably like i'd say it's the most normal it's been in a while now but i still get random spurts of like complete unhappiness and like almost depression i'm not going to say depression because it's not depression um but yeah i get really upset about it and stuff like that still um but body confidence doesn't come overnight like it's something you've got to work on um but yeah i think i'll answer that question probably not um next one is how long have you been training and how many weeks how many days a week do you train so i train at the moment i'm training like six times a week but that is because i like went through something a couple of months ago and i had a lot of people kind of like basically saying that i wasn't good enough or my body wasn't very nice and stuff like that so i was doing it for me anyway but i guess that kind of spurred it on a little bit more because it made me realize that other people aren't happy with me as well which isn't something that should motivate you to change yourself but when those people matter to you i guess you kind of have to realize that i don't know it's it's really hard to go into but basically i realized i wasn't happy with my body someone else realized they weren't happy with my body and someone else realized they weren't happy with my body so just basically everyone went in at me and now i'm very unhappy with my body but i'm working on it like it's a work in progress so fuck me this is so hard this does not look like a circle to you does it to does it to me no um next one what's some of your pet hates and things you enjoy um I enjoy going on holiday and stuff like that um my pet oh i think that's meant to happen i'm not sure this is a very rusty hanger this is the rustiest hanger i did ever see um what was it what are some of your pet hates and things you enjoy um i enjoy doing a lot of things i enjoy going to the gym um I enjoy going shopping, I enjoy loads of things to be honest, I enjoy going on holiday, like I think I just enjoy everything that everyone else enjoys to be fair, um, fuck this isn't how this is meant to look, maybe it is, I don't think she broke it, maybe I need to watch the video again, um, my pet hates are I don't really like it when people, um, oh no, I am meant to break it, okay that's good. Um, I don't like, I don't like nail biters particularly, um, I just find that a bit gross. Um, I actually hate people breathing loudly, like it sends me absolutely mental. Um, like literally drives me mad. Um, what else do I not like? I don't like loud eaters. That drives me mad. Did I say that already though? I'm not sure. Um, I don't really have that many pet hates. I don't think. I don't like. I don't like dirtiness, like I can deal with untidiness, but I don't like like going into a kitchen and it being really grimy. Um, I don't like dirt, I just don't like it to be honest. I can deal with stuff not being tidy, like I'm not the tidiest person in the world, but dirt and like plates everywhere and like just nastiness I don't like, like yuck. Um, it's a great fucking start if you ask me to be honest why is this not going well for me people oh <laughs> it worked I really don't think this is going to go well by the way guys 
I just, I can just feel it in my bones. Um, what are the other questions that we've got here? Um, ma, 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 ma. How are your thighs so strong? They're not. My thighs are not strong at all. Like, I think I genuinely have like really weak legs, to be honest. Um, there's so many girls that can lift so much. Like, I think girls, some girls lift. <laughs> like my one rep rep max is probably their um warm up weight but i don't really care about that fitness journeys are everyone's individual journeys aren't they guys so what you got to remember um and like doing squats and stuff really heavy just hurts my back and <clears throat> I think my technique's okay. Like I've never had anyone come up to me and tell me it's not. I've had PTs in the past and stuff like that help me out with my technique. But I don't think I have bad technique. <clears throat> I just have quite a week back from um, <clears throat> playing rugby for so long. When I was younger, I had like a bad injury. So yeah, I'm not really that strong at all. And my thighs aren't really strong. I think they're just a bit fat. Whoa. But who cares about that? Not me. Well, I do. But, you know, I'll pretend like I don't care, even though I'm crying inside. How do these all overlap each other then? You must have to put quite a substantial amount on because so far I've got some random hangy mess. Um, what other questions have we got? Um. They're just weird questions that I'm just not feeling like answering today. But I'm just going to keep threading these on now. Guys, I'm actually shook us. Like, this is actually working. Um, I had to take some off because they broke. And I forgot that I needed to add the, add, it, add the little ones in. So, yeah. It's going well. I'm actually impressed. I hope I can manage all of this. I think it's going to look so pretty. Oh, I'm so happy. So guys, it's actually going so well. I'm so happy with this. Um, I didn't put the question thing on early enough, so I haven't really got that many responses yet. Um, I'm gonna keep going with my ball. I've like barely got any left, which is a bit scary. Um, but yeah, there's not much to report from me, to be honest. I'm enjoying doing this little vlogmas thing that's been fun so far <clears throat> um although it doesn't seem that that many people are watching it like i don't know my views are down a little bit but i'm not really asked because if i've enjoyed doing it then i think that's the main thing isn't it um any life updates from me um so me and elliot might be going to dubai in january which is exciting um, I say might because we haven't booked flights or anything yet, so there's always a possibility it might not actually happen. Um, I haven't really got any other plans for Christmas. Um, I think, so I'm having Christmas at home with my family. Um, and then me and Tesco might spend like Christmas Eve together romancing like we do, you know. Um, she's basically my girlfriend, I've decided, like, let's all be real here, I probably spend more time with her than anyone else in my life. Um, so she might stay here on Christmas Eve apparently, um, because it's on the way to her uncle's house or something, and that's where she's going for Christmas Eve. So, yeah, she wants to be with me. Um, I can't blame her, to be honest. Shit, I need to do some small, small ones. Um, anything else? My dad's been really ill recently, um, which isn't ideal, right before Christmas. But he is on the mend, so that is exciting. I'm just happy about that. Um, <clears throat> there's literally nothing else for me to report, to be honest. I've done, like, half of my Christmas shopping, but... You know when you kind of realise that maybe you just don't have enough to fund it? Like, the rest of your family's presents because you've spent too much money on yourself and, like, 
stupid craft ideas like this. Hmm? Yes. Um, so, yeah. Christmas a bit stressful, isn't it, to be honest? Like, I've got so many presents to buy. I think I've got like 13, and then I obviously want to get... I'm just such a giver at Christmas. Like, I love to get people stuff. Like, me and Elliot are not doing presents, but... I just want to see his little face, you know, when you get someone a present and they're not expecting it. Like, I literally don't want anything in return, but I just want to see his little face, like, light up. It kills me. <coughs> I just love people being happy at Christmas. And I know Christmas is a bit of a shit sign. Shit sign? Shit time for some people. Um, like, I completely understand why. Um, especially if you don't have, like, a really close family and stuff. Or you're by yourself and always, like, it's your first Christmas without, oh, fuck's sake, without a loved one or something like that. Like, I understand why that can be a bit hard. Um, <clears throat> my grandma actually died on Christmas, I think it was the 23rd of December, um, when I was, I think, seven or eight, um, <clears throat> so I can, like, relate to people having bad memories associated with Christmas, but, I don't know, I like Christmas, it's like a big, big old birthday celebration, and everyone just seems to be in such a happier mood. <clears throat> I'm gonna try and fix this one, but I think it might break again. We shall see. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do like a video on how to film more Christmas here if you're not really feeling it. Um, but I don't know when I'll do that. I feel like I've got so many videos to film, like all the time. I'm kind of like looking forward to December being over in the sense that I can take a break from like YouTube and stuff like I usually do because I'm usually shit at posting let's be honest peeps um I got some cool collaborations coming up I don't know whether to put them in vlogmas or if you guys like want more kind of um not so many try-ons but I'm gonna start my new series as well the in between size girl series for all the girls that are like in between sized um so I kind of, oh, we've got so many of the same colours, um, I kind of want to like, fuck, they're all falling off, I kind of want to, not expose, but just show that, I don't know how this is going to work, I've like failed at the last hurdle, but I feel like I need to cut it. you're missing from there and you're like the most important one because you're in the middle okay I think we need like one more on here um but yeah I I don't know what I'm trying to say but yeah I'm trying to not expose but like show an unbiased opinion towards gym kit because I think a lot of the time Influencers are just like getting paid to tell you what you should be wearing in the gym and stuff, but half the time I just don't agree with it. So I want to <clears throat> do a little YouTube series for the girls out there that are kind of like, well, the clues in the name really, in between me. I don't understand this. I feel like I need to get my video back up. Oh, you're so cute, but you're missing half of you. Maybe I just put a big bow at the bottom. I think that could look cute. Right, right. let me figure this out. <clears throat> so I have finished my little bauble roof. Um, the way that I did this bit is you have to basically, I'll show you, you, make, you curl it around to make two kind of loops and then i need to like cover this with ribbon but i don't actually have any ribbon so 
yeah i think i did a pretty good job like this is my best side it's not looking very circular though is it really um don't know how to fix that maybe i just bend it a bit more fuck this it's actually like it's really simple but it's also kind of tricky I need to basically make these loops better um but yeah this is how you do it and I think oh that looks better I just need to tighten that basically I need to tighten the loop and put some ribbon on it and then it's good to go I think that's quite circular isn't it um but yeah I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll maybe let you see the finished product but right now it looks a bit sad um but thank you so much for watching and it was nice to answer some of your questions and i will be back soon love you guys bye